Okay, so I'm gonna do a buck boost converter power electronics similar to what you would find in an electric vehicle. Let's say a golf cart, electric bike, or forklift, or anything like this. Uh, to do that, I will use the four quadrant dynamo meter power supply as a power supply in this case. I want it to be in voltage mode source. So, uh, yeah, it says uh, voltage source positive. Right now it's around 50 volts. That should be good enough for what I want to do. So I'll take power from here. And I would like to see what is the actual current. I could look at it on the very tiny screen here. But I will connect that through my data acquisition system here. So I'm going in the voltage. Out of there, positive voltage through an ammeter. So I can monitor the watts as well. And here I will have my output out of the ammeter, positive and negative. I will bring this positive and negative to my IGBT chopper here. The IGBT module as well as the data acquisition require 24 volts. So I will connect that to my power supply here. In my case here, I have a huge three-phase power supply, but just one of those small wall units to give you 24 volts is good enough to do that. You don't need three-phase power at all to do that. The data acquisition is called now data acquisition and control because you have digital outputs that can control the uh, firing of the transistors. So to do that, you use one of these multi-connector cables and you just connect that here and you can monitor the uh, transistor gate signals directly on the oscilloscope there if you wish but in my case I'm taking my DC I want to chop that go through a smoothing inductor then to my sorry then to my DC machine For the negative side of the DC machine, I'll just connect my neutral or negative side here to my shunt and my armature. And the positive of the shunt will go straight on the DC because I want this to always have excitation. So the excitation is constant, like a permanent magnet machine and the armature will be variable. To do the control here, I will launch the LVDAC software. If I was connected, it would tell me that it detected uh, the module. Since I wasn't connected in the USB port, I click refresh here. Now it found it. I want the chopper functions, that's for sure. So in this one, in my meters, I want to monitor voltage E1 in DC, I1 in DC, and my power in watts. No reactive power because it's DC. I will just turn the other meters off because they are just uh, cluttering my visual field here. Now into the tools, I can go to the chopper inverter control. Then I'll drag that a little bit on the side so we still see the metering. I will select in that case a buck boost chopper. How did I know how to connect that? Here I have the schematic and if I ask to show the connections it tells me this is A and B. This is C and D is at the same place. So when I remove that I just connect A and B to the high voltage, my power supply, and C and D through an inductor to my motor. So when I press start on that and start on the power supply, right now I have no speed at all because my duty cycle is at zero. So let's say I want to go to a duty cycle of 
maybe okay i'll give it some acceleration and deceleration time let's say one second for acceleration and deceleration so i go to a duty cycle of 80 percent that was too much current I did put an inertia wheel here to simulate that your vehicle should have inertia in it. So now I see that my current is on the screen fairly low for now. I have 6-7 watts roughly. If I am to lower the duty cycle here, I should see that the current, instead of being positive, now will be regenerative braking. So my current will become negative as well as the watts as it will recharge my battery or send power back to the power supply. So let's see here I go to 20% duty cycle. You see I generated a peak of roughly 25 watts when my speed decreased. When I reach that minimum speed, then power comes positive again just to fight that friction. Again, if I go to a high duty cycle value, let's say 70%, I will see that I will have an inrush current and power. So I'm taking power from my power supply or battery. And when I'm decelerating, let's say 5% or 25%, and I bring power back into my power supply. If on top of that I also want to show the, the switching signals, I will need to connect the ground with the ground of the data acquisition inputs here. And let's say I connect input 1 to my transistor number one here. Then I can go here and ask for an oscilloscope. And just say on my first channel, I want to look at what is on my analog input one. I need to change my time base here. Like this maybe. So when I'm changing, right now my duty cycle is 25%. Let me move that here. I go to a duty cycle that would be, let's say 70%. See here that it increased to 70%. Put it on the side so we can see it at the same time. Going to 85%. Ninety-nine percent. Start losing those very small pulses. Going back to five percent. So that's like your electric vehicle accelerating and decelerating with the inertia.